he was 35 and she was 27. They were of Ghanaian origin, but live in Orlando, Florida. They were married for over five years and three months before that, she decided to separate from him. But on September 8, 2020, he showed up right in front of her job and shot her to death. Right in front of people and her colleagues. Her name is Barbara Tomini. And the person that shot her to death was her husband, Prophet Sylvester of Ori. Welcome to Motherland Mothers. My name is Stella or seven year old. September 8, 2020 was just a regular day for Barbara Tomini. And as the assistant manager of the Navy Federal Credit Union, she was right at work ready to get in, not knowing that her husband of five years that she was trying to get a divorce from was locking around. And right before she could get into her job, he came right behind her, surprised her, and shot her to death. She died before she could arrive at the hospital just 27 years old. Prophet Sylvester Ofori, the husband who shot her, left in his car and according to eyewitnesses, he drove off like nothing happened, went home, parked his car and went to his apartment he once shared with his wife. He was later arrested by the police. Barbara Tomini was married at the age of 22 to Sylvester Ofori. Barbara just got out of college and she had a prophecy that she was going to marry a pastor. She fell in love with Sylvester Ofori and they had a lavish wedding just right when she was out of college at the age of 22. And they were married for five years. And according to a report, she was a very supportive wife. Barbara Tomini was just 27 years old when she was shot dead by her husband, Prophet Sylvester of Ori. It was believed that Barbara had left the marriage about three months ago due to accusations of occultism and other matters. The members and friends mourn Barbara and their hearts are filled with pain because she did all the right things. She left, she filed for divorce, and she was moving on with her life. But an aggrieved husband still found a way to get to her. It's a very sad story. It's a very sad story and sad event of what a lot of African men are beginning to do in the United States. They are beginning to revenge on women. They are beginning to revenge on their wives. It is a sad, sad, sad occurrence happening all over the United States, from Houston, Chicago, Dallas, Florida, everywhere. Men are killing their wives with guns and sometimes killing themselves. It's a dangerous trend and it's happening all the time. Thank you for watching Motherland Mothers with me again. I am Stella, also when you're at Simota.